Hi, Maths friends. Today we're talking about the shape of data distributions. We're going to go over a few new terms very briefly, and then you're going to try some on your note sheet. First term is symmetric distribution. Then we have cluster, peak, and also gap. Symmetric distri distribution means that it, your graph looks the same on the left as it does on the right. So let's look at this one. If I split this down the middle, this looks the same on the left as it does on the right. So we would say that this graph in particular has symmetric distribution. A cluster is, you're going to see, is most of your data grouped in one certain area? Well, there's all of those X's there, and there's only four on the outside. So I would say that there is a cluster right here in the middle of our data. From four to six, we have a cluster. A peak is, you probably guessed, which is the highest? Which is the most frequent? Well, right here, five would be our peak. That's our most, that's where our highest frequency is. And gaps, are there any parts in the graph where there's just no information, there's no data? From two to three, there's a gap. And from seven, and eight, seven to eight. When you're filling out your note sheet, please note on there that sometimes you may not have a gap, sometimes you may not have a cluster, maybe it's distributed evenly, sometimes you may not even have symmetric distribution. So if those don't exist, just say that they don't exist on that certain graph.